Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm very happy to showcase how to build and deploy recommendation systems in Heatwave Odora. Let's jump right into it. So we have here a MySQL share and we have uploaded in our DB system a training table containing data describing people's uh, preferences for movies. These preferences take in the, uh, the form of tuples where each, each uh, is the result of a person expressing a preference for a certain movie with a rating from one to five. In the context of recommender system, this data falls into the category of explicit feedback as we have direct and quantitative data collected from the users. These ratings are provided directly from the users and the scale allows us to quantify the user preference. So now that we understand more about the data, let's try to train our model. So first of all, we give it a name and then we just need to call ML train on the input data. So we call ML train and give it as input data, the name of the uh, table. We, we also need to give the name of a column of a feature that we want to predict here, it is the ratings. And we also need to specify that we want to train a recommendation model. Therefore, the task is recommendations. And we, we also need to specify the user and item column ID. All right, so after 23 seconds, we get our recommendation model. In order to be able to use this model, we need to load it into our heatwave cluster using ML model load. And now that it's loaded in the heatwave cluster, we can do predictions. So let's use ML predict table to do predictions with the model. And the prediction will be stored in the output table name here. It is rating predictions. If you look at the uh, table output, we can see that we have for each user item pair, uh, a given rating output by the model. However, as we are using a recommender system, what we want to do is recommend items to a given user. So we can do that with the same uh, predict table, but we need to specify in the option that we want to recommend items. And here we specify that for each user, we want three items. If we look at the result uh, table, we have that for each user, we have a free, uh, the top three items recommended by the uh, model and the corresponding rating. We can also do the same for the uh, movies and recommend for each movie, uh, the top three user that the model thinks uh, will like the movie. And this gives us the same table with uh, for each item, uh, the top three users and the corresponding ratings. So the problem with this kind of explicit feedback data is that they are very rare. It is not easy to get direct feedback from the users. On the other hand, the user behavior can be monitored more easily. We can save uh, what, what, which links they clicked on or which video they watched and how much time they spend on a specific page. This is what we call implicit feedback and it's more uh, abundant. It is collected indirectly from the user interaction with the service and it can act as a proxy for the user preference. So recommended system can be built using this, tip, this type of implicit feedback. And this allows to tailor recommendation in real time with every click and interaction. So MovieLens dataset is explicit feedback, but it can be converted to implicit feedback by binarizing the ratings and convert them directly with into, to interactions uh, where one represents that the user has interacted with the movie. We can have a look at what the data will look like with uh, implicit feedback here. Instead of having the ratings, we will have interaction. So to build, so with this kind of data, we can also build a model with implicit feedback. All we need to do is specify the new table name, and in the call for ML train, we also need to specify that the input data is from uh, feed, from the category of implicit feedback by just specifying feedback as implicit. This will allow us to train an implicit feedback model, and once the training is finished, we can load the uh, the the, uh, the model in our heatwave cluster with the same way we did it before, and we can do prediction and recommendation with this uh, new uh, implicit feedback model.
if you look at the uh, if you look at the uh, output table, it's quite similar to the previous one, but it uses the interaction column to do pre to do recommendation for each user of the top three items. All right, thank you very much for your attention.